Thanks for joining us tonight. Dane County leaders are easing restrictions on both indoor and outdoor gatherings. The new order, order number 11, goes into effect tomorrow and will last at least 28 days. The number of new cases in the county has gone down significantly since the last order. Public Health Madison Dane County says as of last Friday, the seven day average is 187 cases per day. Compared that to the month prior, where the same average was at 487 cases per day. The new order allows for indoor gatherings of up to 10 people, outdoor gatherings to 25 people. It also allows schools to go to in-person learning as long as strong infection control measures are met. Dane County restaurants can continue to offer indoor seating at a 25% capacity. Stores are also required to keep capacity limits at 50%. Gyms can resume indoor classes with limitations. News of this order comes 10 days before Christmas. Just because some restrictions are loosened, public health officials urge you to not let your guard down. Madeline O'Neill is live at Olin Park with what message they are sharing ahead of holiday celebrations. Dane County health officials say things are going well here. Not only are daily COVID-19 cases going down significantly, but hospitalizations and the positivity rate are down a bit as well. But that doesn't mean it can be business as usual for the holidays. Many of us are already diving into the holiday spirit. Christmas rush is starting a little bit and yeah, a little different this year with, uh, you know, COVID. <laughs> With COVID, you don't pass up a chance to get out of the house safely. We have to get out of the house for sure. Um, yeah. Just for our own sanity and for exercise and, and for socialization. After a fall, when COVID-19 cases took a steep climb in Dane County, metrics like daily cases and hospitalizations are on their way down. It's exciting. There's hope. We have a new year. We have vaccine coming and we're not quite there yet. Though things are moving in the right direction, public health officials stress the new order allowing indoor gatherings of up to 10 people with precautions isn't a green light to plan a big in-person holiday celebration. We're not normal yet. Right. Every time we've scaled up, um, we become a little bit accustomed to having more illness in our community. And this is still severe. It's still um, we're still learning more about it every day. Public Health Madison and Dane County Director Janelle Heinrich says they've learned how quickly things can go downhill if precautions aren't taken. We're still asking folks to reconsider how whatever you celebrate um, to celebrate differently, maybe postpone it, um, find ways to do that outside. As for these Madison families, order or not, they'll be playing it safe. We're staying in Madison, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no real big plans. No plans to go anywhere and uh, grandparents will probably stay away and, you know, just be safe. That doesn't mean the holiday spirit isn't there. Tell me, what are you excited for? Uh, the candy, all the candy. Uh, it's just one Christmas, one year. Uh, better to stay safe and, um, you know, they'll be next year and more years. This new order goes until at least January 13th here in Dane County.